Hi there, welcome back to my channel and for today I will be talking about coffee. So who loves coffee? I totally love the smell of coffee even in a perfume. So today I'm going to share with you perfumes in my collection with coffee notes. So first one is Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One. So I have a mini bottle in here that's very cute. So the full bottle exactly looks like this, only it's bigger. So this one, aside from the coffee, it has a lot of notes in there. Um, it has floral, it has fruity, and some gourmand notes thrown in there. It has caramel, vanilla, and some fruity notes. But this one, aside from the coffee, I get more of a sweet, it's like a coffee and candy scent. So this one is very sweet. It's like coffee with a lot of sugar in it. I, perhaps it's the caramel. It's like coffee and caramel scent. Reminds me a little bit of black opium without the spiciness. Because this one is not spicy at all to me. This is just a very sweet coffee candy caramel scent. So next is black opium from YSL. So this one is a love it or hate it perfume. For me, I totally love this one. This is the first coffee perfume that I absolutely enjoy wearing only this one is really spicy and quite strong in the opening i would really i could really get the pink pepper in there it's like pepper plus the jasmine in, in it really overwhelming scent in the opening but after that it gets sweeter you'll get the coffee and it becomes really sweet the dry down it becomes your um typical vanilla scent so i like more of like the let's say after a few hours after i get past the opening that's when i enjoy the dry down i mean the scent the dry down is okay but i find it a little bit um common though for a vanilla scent so they have the same they have several notes that are the same with the the only one perfume maybe that's why they kind of have the same vibe although this one is just spicy and this one is not so next is one of my favorite celebrity scent and this one is love by sofia vergara and this one has colombian coffee and coffee blossom in the opening so it does have more coffee in there compared to other perfume but coffee is not the first thing that comes to my mind whenever i smell this one this is delicious and it's very sweet as well i love it it is such a very sophisticated um sweet fragrance so i got a grasp of coffee in the opening but that is just a very quick like a whiff of coffee it doesn't um linger that much in this perfume i don't think coffee is the star in this um fragrance but more to me it's like a gourmand like a jam donut that's the first thing i could think of some um, dessert like more of like a pastry it's very delicious though it is more milky and creamy coffee to me i really like it so especially if you don't like a very straightforward or like overwhelming coffee in a perfume so i think this one is a good choice so next is montal's chocolate greedy so this one as the name suggests this is more known to be a chocolate perfume than a coffee and i do agree this is my favorite chocolatey scent it really reminds chocolate scent this really reminds me of like a creamy like a chocolate nutella something like that's very like real realistic chocolate to me but the opening though is different i think it's where the coffee is so the opening is like a chocolate cracker biscuit. So I'm not like a fan um, of it. It's like a cocoa pop or like a cocoa crunch cereal scent. So I think that is where the coffee is because it's also a, bit, a little bit of a coffee ground scent. Also like as I've mentioned like a cracker. So the coffee in there is a bit like that. It is not your creamy coffee latte, coffee brewed coffee scent. It isn't. I actually don't like the coffee in here. But the fragrance, all in all, I really love it. So I have to wait for that opening to subside. And then after that, that's when I could um, enjoy the chocolate scent in it. So for a coffee fragrance, I don't really recommend this. But for a chocolate fragrance, this one is really a must-have or a must-try. And the last one is also from Montal Paris. And this one is Intense Cafe EDP. So a sample. So this the name suggests so i would be expecting to be more of a coffee in here but actually it's not it's more of like intense roast than um coffee but even though i'm not a fan of rosy scent i actually like the rose in here it's like a sweet dark coffee scent i mean sweet dark rosy scent so it is like having a lunch outside a coffee shop 
and a flower shop beside it where you could smell a whiff of coffees and pastries and jams in there with some roses in the background, bunch of roses in the background. I almost really could not get the coffee in here. This is a very sweet, rosy, musky, powdery, let's say powdery scent. Well, if it gets to my expectation, no, because I'm expecting to be more of coffee in here. But if I enjoy wearing this one, yes, I do love this one because I rarely enjoy rosy scent. But this one, I like it because this is not your fresh. I don't like fresh rose scent in a perfume, but this one is a bit like a jammy rose or dark, very sweet, rosy scent. So that's all for my coffee perfumes in my collection and that's it for today's video. See you again on the next.